Okay, guys, so hand position is going to be pivotal on top. I can't let him pull me down into inside control of his arms. I want to have the inside line. Don't let him grab inside my arms, overhook them. If I'm stuck here and trapped my arm, I can't pull away now. Control the arms to start. You're trying to build your base. There's a lot of different grips you can use. We'll be doing more sophisticated things later. For now, we're going to control the hip and look to open the guard on the ground. You can grab the belt here or floating ribs. Elbows on the inside. I want to keep his hip on the mat. Most important is hip on the mat. If his hips in the air, it's not going to work. If he's really strong, hip stays down. My hip will raise and keep his hip on the floor. My knee will go in the middle. From here, I'm going to open my leg leg. Go on the left side. Left leg is going to open 45 degrees. I turn my hip so he can't hold the ankle wall anymore. Hand in position, keeping him in the middle. Turn my hip. That should open the guard. Here, my knee's in the middle so he can't really close. You've got your leg locks, different guard passes, etc. Step one, control the arms. Step two, keep him on the mat. He wants to be following you with the hip. So I'm there, making my space, keep him down. Now from here, me in the middle, keep him in position here, 45 with my other leg, turn my hip a little bit. Head doesn't turn too much, so just my hip turn. I don't want to do this, leaving my arm behind. 